No, you've achieved the ideal agori uh, ego uh, <laughs> image. So, you know, congratulations, you know, and be proud of it in a way, right? Mm -hmm. But it, it's a pride that enables you to fully realize you're not that character, but that character had to come to uh, seem to exist in order for you to free yourself from any identification with what you thought is good about the character, mm. right? Mm -hmm. So both of them have to be let go of, yeah. right? What you like or the jouissance it gives you or whatever, right, which balances the shame and this horror, both of them are illusions. And by transcending uh, uh, both polarities of the egos, good and evil, and by the way, it's not Satan. It's your imaginary idea that Satan lives in you. That's a kind of megalomania, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Satan doesn't bother to come, you know, in, in, uh, in your body. Satan mm -hmm. is also uh, transcendent and is merely an archetype that is activated at the end of time in order for there to be a final meeting of the dark and the light. And uh, this actually becomes the annihilation of the matter and antimatter cosmos as a, as a biverse. And, uh, and this comes about as a result of total acceptance, hmm. which annihilates the polarization. And at the same time, there is a depolarization between Shiva and Shakti, between the world as energy and form and uh, beauty or ugliness or however the world appears mm -hmm. and the essence of the intelligence that collapses the quantum and qualium waves in such a way that it appears that, that way to you. But there is no universe other than your own mind that is collapsing the field through your interpretation of yourself as being one of the satanic majesties, you know, <laughs> to use a Rolling Stone term uh, that they were proud of back then in the 60s. So uh, you, you have to uh, accept that this is the will of God, that this was the uh, ego uh, appearance you were given it, as a, uh, a beautiful, uh, example of how the victory of God over the delusion can occur no matter how bad the illusion looks, mm -hmm. right? That because darkness is not real, only the light is real. Mm. And it's your belief that creates the shadow, that creates the satanic feelings and the shame and the guilt and all of that. None of it has any reality whatsoever. And when you're no longer attached to your ego and don't care if it's good or bad, because there's no such thing as good or bad. Mm. All is God. That duality was right eating the tree in the Garden of Eden that uh, made us lose paradise. We don't fall into judgment or dualistic thinking or subject-object separation. And when we are free of that, all we see is light, love, beauty, joy, freedom, infinite creative intelligence. That's all there is. There is nothing else out there though, because now the screen is wiped clean of all sanskaras and uh, the great artist of God consciousness can now produce a new world that's free of any trace of the Kali Yuga stains. Mm. And that's the function of a Sat Yogi at the end, right? Clean the whiteboard completely and then project uh, your divine nature uh, as beauty and goodness and purity and joy and love and let that be seen as, uh, as the model that vibrates in such a way that others uh, will uh, be uh, uplifted and, uh, and brought to a state of awakening through the shining of your consciousness through the world. Mm. Thank you. That's a, a lot to chew on. But it's nicer to chew on that. Just swallow than, uh, it, don't chew it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. Okay, and remember, you are that now. It doesn't require any effort. Mm. It's simply a shift of the location of your consciousness from the Kronos circle to the ion at the center, right? Mm. And then once you're there, every moment is a Kairos moment in which the perfection of God 
uh, is able to descend into the Kronos world and your body becomes an avatar of that vibrational frequency and that intelligence. But there's no more ego to uh, take credit for it, just as you wouldn't take blame for the ego's shameful attitudes and, mm -hmm. and uh, attributes, but just uh, an unchanging, blissful realization of the real. Mm -hmm. Ah, gee. It's, uh, I'm going to take that with me. No good and no bad. There's a lot of that going on. That was good and that was bad. That was right. good and that was bad. Yeah, you're not allowed to have the, that polarity. <laughs>